What's going on everybody? Alex of Varus Engineering here, and we're gonna be starting a new series called the Varus Engineering Fix. It might change the name, but I'm not entirely sure. But the bottom line is we wanna do more videos that cover smaller pieces of information that we still deem noteworthy, but aren't necessarily big enough pieces of news to warrant their own video. And that's what this is gonna be all about. All the small things that happen along the way, all the R&D updates, some product updates, and just general things happening around the shop that we think are fun to share that, again, don't need their own video. And yeah, that's what it's gonna be about. All right, as you can see, Dalen's behind us. We're machining 1,000 jackpots for the Subaru, which is absolutely ridiculous, but we've been doing this for the entire week. Yeah, hey, Tony. So while we are on the topic of jack pucks, let's talk about the uh, three printed jack puck fitment program that we did a little while back. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video here or here or wherever YouTube decides to put it. We are no longer gonna be offering the 3D printed jack puck um, as an item on the website that you can add to the cart. We are still doing the jack puck fitment program, but we have run into a situation where uh, we have more than one person buying the 3D printed jack puck for the same vehicle and we already have information on it. So if you want to get a hold of a 3D printed jack puck, you will now have to reach out to us at sales at Veris Engineering, along with all the details of the makes and model of your car, um, because we're starting to get repeats here and there, and we're trying to avoid that going forward. So on a side note, a lot of you all have been requesting the STL file because it seems that a lot of you guys have 3D printers at home, so that's totally understandable. And we are more than happy to send you the STL file. Just reach out to us at engineering at veris-engineering.com and we will send you the SEL file your way. All right, so we are now moving on to product releases. So starting from the oldest to the most recently released, we have the Supra oil cooler. Now this was something that we put together um, as we started to hear back from a lot of the Supra community. Oil temps were just through the roof, especially with track cars that were, you know, people who are really pushing that B58 engine. It includes a bunch of brackets and uh, little hose fittings that we machine here in house at Varus Engineering. And it comes with stainless steel hoses and all that stuff. So it's a really nice kit. And it includes everything that you need to be track ready this summer, because I can, there's some, something tells me this summer is gonna be absolutely wicked. This winter has been brutal. I think the summer is gonna be pretty brutal too. So. Get on that if you're looking for a nice garage project to work on with your grandpa. Next up, we created a windshield wiper fluid reservoir for the 86 chassis twin cars, first and second generation. So GR86, 22 plus BRZ, GT86 FRS and BRZ, all those cars. They're machined out of 6061 T6 aluminum right here in house at Varus Engineering. So this is a great kit for those of you who need to delete the factory wiper fluid reservoir, you know, that big old tank that is just like in the front behind the bumper, it's massive. And this is just to delete that for various purposes. So maybe if you're running a brake cooling kit, um, you have to remove the factory wiper fluid reservoir to make room for the ducting. Um, maybe people who are running charge pipes, that might also be necessary or just honestly, just aesthetics, maybe that's a stretch, but hey, I think it looks better because it's just a nice piece of, uh, anodized black aluminum. And if you wanna get even crazier, perhaps you're building a safari style BRZ and you just need more added protection for your wiper fluid. So, uh, I mean, honestly, take a look at this. This is not like the coolest thing you've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> so awesome, so awesome. So yeah, thank you, Tyler, for sending over those pictures. Um, it's really cool to see uh, this particular product being utilized in that way. None of us here expected to see anything like that, but so. Keep it up. Is your life a drag? Up next, we have the drag wing for the S550 GT350. So this is our first drag wing that we made, and this is our first time in that particular market. It is made out of two by two, 12 pre prepreg carbon, and it is cured in an autoclave and is high gloss cleared uh, to give it that nice, shiny finish. It's a beautiful piece in my opinion. It looks awesome. We threw it on our GT350 here in the shop. It, it's, it's pretty stunning. I'm not really a muscle car guy, but honestly, it looks, it, it looks so cool. It's so awesome. So if you wanna read more about this wing and the data points behind it, you can check out our informative packet on the product page on our website. It'll tell you all the information you need to know regarding pressure points and plots and all that stuff. So um, be sure to check that out. And as always, if you have any additional questions, you can reach out to us at sales at veris-engineering.com. We have a wide variety of people working here, all with different experiences in the motorsports world. So. Ask us a question at sales at veris-engineering.com and one of us 
will try to answer your question. And lastly, we have pitch stop mounts for the GR Corolla. Increase the rigidity of your drivetrain and overall just improve the, the feel of the drive on your GR Corolla. Replacing the factory pitch stop mount with ours uh, will really just improve the overall feel of the drive. And honestly, it just feels a lot better. It's also worth noting that we offer three different sets of bushings, all with different durometers. So you can really pinpoint how you want that drivetrain to feel and uh, yeah, pretty solid product. So these come in two different configurations on our website. We have one that is the chassis side only and uh, it utilizes the factory drivetrain mounting point. And then we have one that is the entire assembly. It comes with the pitch stop mount as well as the drivetrain mount. And um, yeah, it's a, I think they're both solid options. It really just comes down to what your preferences are. So take a look at both of those and pick whichever one works best for you. So that is all we have for recent product releases. Um, as always, feel free to comment down below some things that you might want to see in the future. I can't guarantee you that we will do it, but uh, we are always listening and we are always trying to accommodate as best as we can. In other news, the FA24 oil pans have been revised once more and machine prototypes are on their way as we speak. So you can expect to see a new video from us relatively soon. We're going to be going over the uh, some of the tweaks that we've made here and there. And uh, yeah, we are listening and we have actually changed quite a bit. There's some pretty minor changes but they do they are relatively substantial in the grand scheme of things so stay tuned for that that's all i can say for now the m4 has been a topic of discussion lately and um there's some pretty cool stuff going on the m4 i've heard um don't know much about it but i'm, I'm looking at it it's behind me it looks the hood is up for some reason looks like there's a big hole in the hood up next what is up dog the dogs here in the shop pink and lila were in some serious need of cushions Luckily, we made enough money last business quarter off of Supra V1Xs that we were able to accommodate. So we have two brand new cushions for the lovely pups here at Varus Engineering. V1X, coming soon to G87M2. Super excited about that. It's gonna utilize the same uprights and trunk mounts and uh, stay tuned for that. That should be coming out in a couple of weeks. So, uh, yep, that is all I have for you today. Did I miss something? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'm Alex with Varus Engineering. And I'll see you all in the next one.